Hello guys, TKG's here. For your comfortable Lost Ark life, in this video I'd like to cover the skill build of the Aeromancer class. Aeromancer class research is almost complete in Korea, so I thought it was the right time to introduce your Aeromancer skills. Now follow me, I'll show you what it is. The class engraving I use in this video is Chilpung Nodo, Gale Rage. Gale Rage builds that use Hidden Umbrella Blade. In order to understand the skill build and combos of the Aeromancer, you need to understand the two tripod, Kiryu Barseng, Yongyu. General airflow will generate the shields for the Aeromancer, and with the counter current tripod, it will transform those shields into damage increase. Let me show you the differences with and without those tripod. With these reason, she has two general airflow skills, four counter current skills. So we call this combination in Korea just like this. And she has two additional skills. Let's start with the general airflow skills first. First skill is Perchiki. Perchiki is the most basic part of the Aeromancer skill. Consider this skill as a start of the old dealing skills. Next up is Neryojiki. Strike down. Neryojiki is also the basic part of the Aeromancer skill. And it deals quite damage too. So it is useful to carry out some of the gimmicks. Current current skill is the mostly our normal dealing skills. So I just get to the point right away. First skill is Teori Godum. And Morachigi. Param Zongol. And Kalbaram. There is one ongoing debate on these skills in Korean community. It's about a first tripod. The first tripod I'm, what I'm using right now is Haria Numjigi. It's a tripod that deals damage in all every direction, but there is a small delay at the end of these tripod. However, Gare Dolpung has no delays, but deals only one direction. But there is no differences in damage between these tripods. So the choice is yours. Choose the tripod, what you want. The first additional skill is Saksil Baram. Saksil Baram has a decent stagger and performs decent deal when the identity is turned on with tripod called Jingi Jojer. Next up is Tolge Baram. Tolge Baram is also quite essential skill for raising your critical rate in the battle. Now let me show you the quick skill combos. As her engraving is need of his basic movement speed, swiftness that is important for damage dealings. There. And her engraving is also recommended for using those swiftness combat stat. There. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching everyone. And always thanks for your big support. And if you like my videos, hit the sub for more upcoming infos. I'll come back with more useful infos in the next video.